This is the time of year that Peyton Green used to dread. The stress of school and homework often left him with agonizing migraine headaches. Sometimes I'll get a uh, pain in my stomach, uh, sort of like a stomach ache, and then it'll develop from there. My eyes will hurt and I'll be really sensitive to light and sound. And then I just have a throbbing pain in my head. Peyton used to get them up to two to three times a week, often forcing him to miss school. And he's not alone. It's estimated more than 20 million kids suffer from migraines or painful tension headaches. And when they go back to school, the numbers go up. For various reasons, we definitely see an uptick in, in our headache uh, problems right now. Dr. Ann Pukalnas runs the headache clinic at Nationwide Children's Hospital. She says there are several reasons kids tend to get more headaches this time of year. First is a lack of sleep. Switching from summer schedules to school hours can be tough, and using caffeine to compensate can make things worse. Pukalnas, who is also with Ohio State University, has published a study that shows kids who have migraines often have restless sleep and can show signs of depression. But be careful in treating them. Taking too much over-the-counter medicine can make headaches worse. I think that's very important that the parents should discuss that with the children and um, realize that if they are taking the medications that frequently, then the headaches really do need to be evaluated thoroughly. Peyton's migraines are now being controlled with special medication. And doctors say before writing off a child's pain as an excuse, parents need to do their homework to know when it's time to see the doctor. At Nationwide Children's Hospital, this is Clark Powell reporting.